Denny Van here. I am a professional linguist and website accessibility consultant. And we are just having some amazing changes happening. And with the new year and setting goals, see, we're already into the new year. How's that going for you? Do you set goals? Let me know in the comments if you set goals. If you don't set goals, then maybe this video is for you because uh, maybe I can convince you that setting your goals allows you to not spread yourself so thin. So if we're not setting goals, not setting a focus, then whatever is coming and getting our attraction on, you know, our focus and attention on is going to take us on this flying like a leaf in the wind kind of a journey. But if you want to activate your reticular activating system, tell it exactly what you want and you know, do some goal settings so that you can reprogram yourself and your behaviors so that 2023 can be a success for you. So in this video, we're going to be talking about the six areas of the mastermind. And yeah, and I know mastermind is this buzzword that's going around. Everybody has a, a different meaning, but I want to get back to who started teaching about the mastermind, and that's Napoleon Hill. So there are principles that are that are followed within the mastermind construct or framework. So we're going to look at six areas of the mastermind. And from these six areas, you can begin to hone in and really clarify what it is you want to accomplish and, you know, why it's important to make goals. So if you haven't been making goals, I know for me, when I don't make goals, goals don't happen. You know, I think it would be nice to do this and nice to do that and nice to accomplish this and nice to accomplish that. But my energy starts to be so spread thin that, you know, being so spread thin, it really sucks your energy and then nothing gets done. Absolutely nothing gets done. So I'm wondering if you can relate to that and let me know in the comments. We're also going to get into why it's important to focus just on the first 90 days or the first three months or the first quarter of the year if you're using this for business goals, because business goals are included within the six areas of the mastermind, whether it's your career or the steps you're taking toward your career, regardless of what that is, your business and career, how money is flowing in is a very important goal. And then strategize. We're going to talk about strategizing what works, what doesn't, with an honest assessment of yourself, what you did, what you followed through on, and actually be honest with yourself because nobody's here to grade you. You know, we're not going to give you an A, B, or C if you're, or an F if you don't follow through. You're making a commitment to yourself. And if you're not able to commit to yourself, and maybe you're wanting a relationship or you're wanting certain things. If you can't commit to yourself, you're basically setting yourself up for failure. So the very first step in setting goals is to commit to yourself. But then what are you committing to? So I want to share with you the six areas of the mastermind. And it kind of looks like a focus wheel. So here in, in this area, we have health, business, finances, relationships, spirituality, and giving. So we're only going to be focusing on the next three months. So some of the things that I wrote down, and I like pen and paper, so I like to write down in pen and paper, and then I get it into a calendar, which I'll share with you later. And then I set them up in a goal crazy 90 day calendar where it has an evening and a PM review. And I'll get into detail with that. But first start to think about in the next 90 days, what health goals would you like to accomplish? What business or career goals would you like to accomplish just in the next 90 days? What are your financial goals? 
write down three to five and don't avoid this topic. I work with so many who avoid the financial say, oh, the money will come. It's law of attraction, blah, blah, blah. But what we're doing here is we're activating certain parts of your body so that you can make manifestation programmable. And your relationships, first of all, your relationship with yourself, that has to be number one. And some of the things that I shared in my goals for relationship are uh, my relationship and getting organized. So what happens within me when I'm wanting to organize, clean, purge, whatever that is, and organize my space. And it's very important to do that. That could be a goal. And that'd be a perfect goal in the beginning of January, because in January, until the 18th of January, we are in Mercury retrograde. So that's a good way to go back, clean up any loopholes, things that fell through the cracks, you know, things you said yes to, but kind of ghosted, you know, those kind of things, follow through on those things, and then come back and start moving forward with Mercury and retrograde with your goals. So with relationship, I also included my hobbies because I'm a drummer. And uh, one of my hobbies is I like to converse in Spanish. So I want to learn some more Spanish in the next 90 days. And I got some very specific goals for those two. Other things are my license requires so many continuing education units. So I'm, I have to make sure that I get those and I schedule those in. I see what's available, how much it costs, you know, those kind of things. So I look ahead in the next 90 days what it is I need to do to maintain those things. And then, of course, my personal relationships, not only with my partner, but with my um, extended circle family. So those are different areas of relationships and things you can do over the next 90 days, such as talk, advise, give opinions or judgments less, and listen more. Just listen and, and acknowledge. And I've had some wonderful feedback just with that relationship goal of talking less and listening more. And my responses are, I hear you, I feel you, and thank you for sharing. And that's it. And the response back is like, wow, I just feel like I created some space with that. Thank you. So these are types of things that you can do to start building your relationships. And then spirituality, you know, you you obviously you're here maybe for some kind of spirituality. And with spirituality, it's intertwined with everything. It really is intertwined with giving and, and your health and all of these things. But write down three to five very specific goals that you're willing to commit to over the next 90 days. And that could be a personal care goal, like you're going to um, do certain things like skin brushing or gua, gua sha on your skin, taking care of um, the connective tissue of your skin or education, such as taking a class or even just observing mercury in retrograde and taking the time out for that. That could be in your spirituality, uh, recognizing when the full moon is coming, recognizing when the new moon is coming as an opportunity to release things. And when the full moon comes as an opportunity for things to come into your experience, you can allow more. That could be a goal. Just allow, you know, if somebody's bitching about something or complaining or just just allow it doesn't mean you have to get involved with it. Just allow it and maybe even let it flow right through you and let it go without needing to give a reaction or give an opinion, a judgment or a criticism. This is a really difficult place to be because I, I want to, as a teacher of so many years, you know, I want to be the teacher all the time, but I don't need to be the teacher all the time. I do need to be the student and the listener and the observer more. And this actually helps me in my spiritual goals. Meditation, of course, is one. It's what I do first thing in the morning and last thing I do before going to bed, get into that space of unlimited, expansive opening with visions of 
what it is I'm I'm driving the boat towards. And one thing that um, for spirituality and for all of them, it really is, is you can think about one word for the whole year. Every year I've had a word for the whole year where I look at that word and it helps me remember, yes, I have goals that are related to that word. And that word gets me back to my goals, which gets me back on track. Because life is going to get you off track, especially if you have routines and behaviors that get you off track. So we're going to reprogram those routines and behaviors through setting up a strategy. And we're going to get into that. Um, my word for this year is actually three words, but it's mad scientists focus. And I chose mad scientists because I am working on a, uh, a research project. So I want to have that focus so that as it becomes a dissertation and I'm able to go along the track of completing a PhD goal. So that is kind of my focus for the year is mad scientist or my word of the year, mad scientist focus. So you can come up with whatever you want as you look at your goals and we still have giving to get into and health, but um, all of these goals you can start to see like a theme that might emerge and you can give it a word and give it the word for the whole year. And that's going to help you stay back on your strategy and your path. Um, every morning and every evening, I just set up a routine. I have a morning routine and an evening routine, and that's my spiritual goal. And for giving, um, there are many beliefs that say, you know, give 10%. Give 10% to yourself of everything you make. Just put 10% aside for yourself. Don't even look at it anymore and just put it away. And then 10% give, find ways that make your heart sing. And it doesn't have to be a lot of money. It could be your time too as giving. So 10% of your time could be two hours a week, maybe if that. So if you can commit to two hours a week, or a certain percentage of dollar amount, um, this is a way to fulfill this giving because when we give, we wanna make sure we're open to receive. And one thing that I do is our local animal shelter, they, they have a wish list on Amazon. So once a month, I have a budget, but once a month, I get within that budget and I look at their wish list and I'm able to ship it directly to them. So that is something that just when I give like that, it makes my heart sing. And so we support our local shelter. We have a rescue from our local shelter. He's just been phenomenal. So we want to give and support that. So whatever it is you want to support, find out what that is. Try different things. See what works for you. See what makes your heart sing. So write down just one goal that you're going to do to give in the next 90 days. You can write down a few of them, but we're going to just pick one of those. Okay. And then with your health, Again, write down three to five goals that you want to accomplish over the next 90 days. And some ideas for that are drinking my water every day. So I have a goal of at least drinking one of these. Additional would be nice, but I get this one down every single day. So that's a goal that I've been working on to create that and to program that behavior to become automatic. And I'm a martial artist and I've been studying the eightfold path. So one of my goals is to apply the eightfold path. I'm going to focus in on one of them per week. And that's going to be my focus for my health on the eightfold path. And daily movement. What can you commit to? Can you commit to 10 to 15 minutes of walking? Can you commit to training for a marathon or a 5K run, whatever that means for you? What is it that you can commit to over the next 90 days? And here's the thing is 
You don't want to have any big goals. You can have little, very strategic goals, such as fill in the blank, making sure I do my 10,000 steps or doing my how many steps and fill in that. What can you commit to? What can you say yes to? And create some of those, um, those goals. So what I would love for you to do is take some time and go over these six areas and start to write down some notes under each category or type out. I prefer writing because I'm very kinesthetic. You know, I want, I need to write pen, pen and paper and hear the paper turn and yeah, all of this, uh, it just gets in my nervous system. So you want to do whatever it is that to get that message into your nervous system and write down each category and pick one thing that you're going to focus in on of each category for the first week. So such as business, I have somebody who's going to be calling the health department and getting their health license because that's the first step in getting their business set up in food service um, and then finances. They have to go and look in. Uh, another client has to go in, make sure that they have their mileage and their expenses and then their um, income has to be ready for taxes because you know we're at the beginning of the year. So it has to get all of the numbers from last year ready for taxes this year. So what is one goal for each category that you have to focus in on in each category that you want to do this week to make you closer to your goal. And it's very important to make these goals, to focus, give your reticular activating system a job to do. And sometimes it's really, really hard because life comes and takes over. I know so many are working a couple of jobs, so many are looking for jobs, maybe even looking for a place to live. Some are even looking for their next meal. So it's very important to set your, your brain, your nervous system, and use it to, to its fullest capacity. Program it to go out and get what it is and bring back to you what it is you're looking for. And one way we can do this is by asking the right questions. Because when we ask the right questions, this programs our reticular activating system to go out and answer the question. So over the years of myself doing this, you know, I started doing this of how can I have this body heal completely and no longer be uh, cancer, have cancer? How can I heal my body completely? And my body's healed completely since the diagnosis of cancer in 2001. And since then, I've been really playing with how potent and how precise our reticular activating system is. It's like a sending and receiving transmitter in our brain. And there's actually crystals within our brain. And the energy here is, has so much potential. So what we want to do is, is ask the right questions. So some of the questions I've asked over the years is, how can I have fun today? How can I get a contract that makes me say things like, I can't believe I'm getting paid for this. How can I travel to amazing places? How can I meet some amazing people? So these are examples of some of the questions I asked my reticular activating system to go out and bring back. Now, here's the caveat. The mind is going to want to figure out the how. Don't let it do that. Just keep focused in on those six areas and the things that you're moving toward. Next thing I know is I'm getting contracts from a university to go to Malaysia and Borneo. Um, and I'm meeting some amazing people and I'm having so much fun. And I just got a contract and it was just renewed. And I'm saying things like, I can't believe I'm getting paid for this. So how we ask the questions and how we have our reticular activating system respond and bring back the answers to those questions 
depends on many, many things. And so what we do is we strategize every single day. I'm doing my morning, my goal crazy. This is my 90 day goal crazy. I have my card of my 10 goal crazy habits that I'm going to do every single day. These are 10 things that I do. Now, yesterday I looked and I marked off nine of the 10 things. So I gave myself a 90%. So as I mark off these things, it has a space here where you can mark off your 10, your 10 habits that you want to create. And so I just go week by week, but it has a morning prep page in this book. And then it has an evening review. So every morning and every evening, I take a look at this. And, you know, last night I was so tired. I just went to bed. And as I was going to sleep, I realized, oh my gosh, I didn't do my evening review. So I did it this morning. And that's one of the things that I was supposed to do. That's why I got a 90%. Then I have my calendar and I love this calendar because it shows the whole month in review. And I'll leave links to this to Amazon. You can go and check it out. They have pictures and all kinds of stuff. But it shows the month of review. And in the month of review, I put my successes. Um, you know, we had our first mastermind on the first day of the month this past Sunday. Um, some things I was able to check off my task even today. So as we're just starting into the year, I'm already prepared and ready for through March, my calendar is all set up and ready and the tasks I need to do every single day in order to attain my 90 day goal. And then around the 90 day, I'm going to go back, we're going to go back and we're going to assess what worked, what didn't work. Did we really commit? Is there something different I can do so that I can commit? And one thing that I found is Getting my space clear helps me commit. And so sometimes cleaning before I actually sit down to do the thing. And then once I sit down to do the thing, it's done. It is done. And um, the amount of energy, I, I'm, I'm not so spread thin. I'm able to get in and focus on those things and then let go of those things that aren't working and being okay with that. I had a license that I'm, I've decided that I'm going to let go of. And, you know, it's, it's, it's almost like um, a ritual to allow yourself to say, okay, that served me, but this part of what I do, I no longer do. And just keeping the license is, is really just status and paying for the license. So that is something that I've let go of and then being okay with creating more space so that I can focus in on these things that I want to accomplish. And so I'm only here so many weeks, 4,000 weeks, and I'm probably right around 1,100 weeks left. So I've got stuff to do that I want to accomplish. So you let me know in the, com in the comments, what do you want to accomplish? How are you gonna achieve those goals? Is a mastermind something that would be supportive for you, giving structure and accountability? If that's something you want to check out, check out the description for an email so that you can apply to be in a mastermind. And it's going to take commitment. And the first commitment you must make is to you. So go through these six steps and then create a different next 90 days. That's it. Just focus in on the next 90, day, 90 days and watch what you're able to accomplish. So with that said, thank you so much for being on this journey with me with this 2023 goal setting blueprint. This is just the blueprint. You have to create the structure. You have to create the strategy. You have to create the journey. And if you want support in doing that, definitely contact us. But this is how you can program and reprogram your life for success. And in the meantime, keep being amazing.